When you say haiku, people familiar with Maui immediately think plantation homes, off-the-grid living, and hippies. Yes, it's true, but this property is nothing but. What I'm about to show you, it's fantastic, modern, sleek, smart, award-winning green home. If James Bond ever retired, I'm convinced this would be the house. I'm Scarlett with Happy Island Properties. Today is windy, it's going to be a messy hair day. Let's go check it out. We are on the north shore of Maui. It's sunny, but very tropical jungle climate. We are all guilty of calling it haiku, but let's give a proper respect to the Hawaiian culture. It's actually pronounced haiku. Haiku also means sharp break, which perfectly describes this property. The two acre lush landscape meets the rugged Pacific Ocean over 480 foot cliff. I have seen plenty offices in my life. This is definitely top three, maybe even the best. You can run an empire from here. I'm not sure how much I would get done with this view. And it's not just the view of the Pacific Ocean, it's also the positioning of the two structures. They're almost identical in a size, they're almost 1,000 square feet each. The bottom is the cottage, the living quarters, and you can see the grass on the top of the roof. It actually has a practical element to it. It cools off the house. And the lawn in front, it's a whole acre of space to build your future dream house on the cliff. But let's be honest, this office is not just about the views. It has all the bells and whistles. I love this built-in cabinetry, the little kitchenette. I love how they hit the TV behind the panel. The panel, the conference table, the other paneling, they are koa wood. Koa is the most expensive wood in Hawaii. And all these pieces came from one tree. After your conference calls and your Zoom calls, what do you need? You need a nap. And this is a perfect nap room. And after your nap, you need to refresh for your next meeting. Full on bathroom. This is a perfect connecting room. It has the access to the upstairs office, the garage, and also a separate entry towards the living quarters. The drums, the couch, the TV, the desk, perfect hideout space. Let's go see the cottage. And now we are finally in the living space. This is the two bedroom, one bath cottage that it's almost 1,000 square feet. I love how the owner maximized these two dwellings. One is an office, this is the cottage, and it still allows you to build another giant dream house on the cliff on the one acre property in front. And this inside, the whole width of the cottage, it's the living space, it's open concept between the living and the kitchen. I love this little cute gas fireplace and the clever idea to match it with the TV. These polished concrete floors are super moody and dark and perfectly complementing the koa wood here again. This Whole kitchen, it's very modern, but very bachelor feel. The dark James Bond vibe that we were talking about. And you guys know how I love an island. This is where I would be standing all day long, staring at the views. The front of the cottage, it's all about the living. The back of the cottage are the bedrooms. Bedroom number one. 
good size, giant closet, bed, desk, koa wood. Bedroom number two. Very similar setup with the closet and the bed, desk underneath the window. These two bedrooms share a bathroom. And here's my favorite. This would be my favorite. The outdoor shower is fantastic. There's plenty storage behind these. Washer and dryer, very private and hidden. Barbecue. Nice dining area. Fire pit for all the nights with the stars. This property stole my heart. The very first time I came here, I am in love with it. I don't usually play favorites, but this is hands down my favorite property right now on the island. It's not your typical North Shore house. It's very contemporary, very modern, but somehow it fits here. It's in sync with nature. And people think these are concrete structures, but they are actually covered with beautiful, great Italian porcelain tile on the exterior. The owner very cleverly expanded this whole sustainable and self-sufficient off-the-grid living. The upper building is covered with solar panels. It has batteries in a garage and it's backed up by a gas generator. The water catchment is here as well and all the barrels are buried underground. And in addition to all of that, there is a private well that is shared with four other properties. Yes, it's all about the off-the-grid living, but it's also all about the views. It's all about the blue and green. And you can see this magical view from every inch of the two-acre property. After this tour, I have three favorites. One is the outdoor shower. That would be my spot. Two, I love the koa wood that is upstairs in the office, also behind me on the island. And the three, oh my God, the nap room. Have you ever seen an office that has a nap room? That must be one of the highlights. This property is for sale and it's listed by a friend of mine, Georgie. All her information is gonna be below. I wanna thank her for inviting us to film today. I would love to make an offer, but I'm a couple million dollars short. So the, for the rest of you, it's all below. Thanks for hanging out and see you next time.